So this was all happening where deep learning now started showing a lot of promise in a lot of fields, NLP, vision, speech, uh, and again this deep reinforcement learning and so on, which led to this complete madness starting from 2013, where almost for every application the traditional methods were then uh, overridden or kind of beaten by deep neural network based systems. So something like language modeling, which has been around since probably 1950s or so, now the reigning uh, algorithm or the or the better algorithm for language modeling is now something which is based on deep neural networks then similarly for speech recognition a lot of work a lot of probabilistic a uh, lot of work based on probabilistic models was done in this or uh, in the speech uh, uh, area or in the speech literature over the past 30 40 years and now all of that has been overcome by deep neural network based solutions same for uh, machine translation a lot of interest in this field a lot of companies now have their machine translation systems based on deep neural networks as opposed to the earlier phrase based statistical machine translations or the probabilistic models which were used earlier. Uh, similarly for conversation modeling, dialogue, a lot of new work started in dialogue post a deep learning era where people now realize that if you have a lot of sequences of conversations, you could actually try to train a deep neural network to learn from this sequence and have conversations with humans. Of course, we are nowhere close to human level conversations, they are very, very far off from them. But in limited domains, these uh, bots are showing some success now. Uh, same for question answering, where you are given a question and you want to answer it either from a knowledge graph or from a document or from an image and so on. And in the field of uh, uh, computer vision, things like object detection, most of the reigning uh, systems or the best performing systems nowadays are deep neural network based systems and a lot of advances are being made on these systems in the last few years. Same for visual tracking where you want to track the same person in a video or image captioning where you want to generate captions for images. For example, people upload a lot of images on Facebook and if you want to automatically caption them or imagine you are uh, on a reselling site, right? something like OLX where you upload your furniture and you do not provide a description from that, but can the machine already automatically generate a description for it so that it is easier for a human to read what that product is and so on. right? So similarly video captioning, I given a video and you want to caption the main activity which is happening in that video. All of these uh, problems are being solved using deep learning based solutions using a combination of something known as feed forward neural networks or convolutional neural networks or recurrent neural networks and so on. Visual question answering, you are given an image and a question and you want to answer that question. Video question answering, answering questions from videos. Video summarizations, if you are given a large video and you want to generate a trailer, a sort of a trailer for that video contains, which contains the most important frames for that video, even these systems are based on deep learning. Then this was all about classification, recognition and so on. But now people started getting more ambitious that can we, humans are very good at creativity. So can we use machines to be creative, right? to generate images? So now if I have seen a lot of celebrity faces, can I generate new celebrity faces? Or if I have seen a lot of bedroom images and I am an architect, now can I generate new bedroom images? Can, I, can we train a machine to generate new bed, bedroom images? So a lot of phenomenal progress or work has happened in this field in the last 4 or 5 years, starting with things like generative adversarial networks, variational autoencoders and so on. And people are now starting to seriously invest into creativity, that how to make machines creative. Again, we are far off from where the desired output, but there is still significant progress happening in this field. Uh, generating audio, so that was about generating uh, images, can you generate music also? And this is again about generating images and so on.